Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. Got a beer here from the New Trail Brewing Company from Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Uh, Reach Road area, that, that side off, uh, off 220, 180. So check it out. This is the Hickory Run State Park edition of their, their PA parks. Here is my fur, fin, and feather PA shirt. We got a great little kind of a general store, diner kind of thing, restaurant. You can come in there for breakfast and lunch. We're over on 44 near Heiner View, Heiner Vista area. And uh, just uh, center, I think it's uh, Clinton County. Clinton County, uh, below a little bit below Potter County area. Beautiful area in Pennsylvania. Okay, so it's above uh, Lock Haven, if anyone knows that area. Let's see, New Trail Brewing Company, the Hickory Run State Park Edition is a hazy double India Pale Ale, and the can art uh, demonstrates, or kind of a, a pictureizes the boulder field in the Hickory Run State Park. Massive area, nothing but, uh, you know, of course, thousands and millions of years old, coming to the surface, slowly crushed up bedrock that you just walk forever, and it's just a big, huge field of these boulders and it's very interesting there's one tree in the middle of it which i think they kind of depict the tree right here uh, and it's got you know ribbons and and chalk on it you know that's kind of it's very interesting very interesting place um i think i did a little i tried to do a little thing on the channel a long time ago where i posted it on instagram or did something i can't remember but uh yeah definitely went there a little bit ago after work one day in the morning nice because it's nice uh just warm around, the sun's coming up, nobody else is there, and you just walk around, it's great. It didn't break my ankles, even better, because it is, it is precarious, you can't hurt yourself if you're not careful. Walk the whole thing, and, and then you kind of get into these weird, like, weird alpine style, just woods that are kind of behind it, because you know, it kind of comes from the rock into this, and it's kind of weird, it's got a weird, weird feeling about the place. Now, that could be me and my amazing imagination, or my odd imagination, I guess some people would say, but... It's definitely got a vibe to it, and it's really cool. I'm just trying to calm down the hair today because it's pissing me off. Lock it down. Lock it down. Cooking. Uh, normal situation on PA Rudu sometimes. I'm cooking. The dinner's going on right now. Kids are hanging out. One's in the, in the I think, crashed out already. But uh, made some tenderloin medallions with some. I'm making mashed potatoes right now. So, gotta throw some taters in there. So, let's check it out. Got the on the point glass from Mars, Pennsylvania, Evans City area. Western PA, West eats meast. Uh, or I could use the words of English language and say West meets East on this one. PA. Well, PA Brew News. Let that settle down for a second. Got a couple new books on my little out adventure. I do get a, a big book of PA ghost stories. Um, we, uh, uh, my girl and I were taking little trips around to see like weird areas and things like that because I've been always wanting to do it and I'm just trying to get into it you know so I got a PA UFO PA Pennsylvania's and uh, UFOs in Pennsylvania uh, Keeksburg or Kecksburg is a, a well-known one in the area for a crash in 40 and 54 or something like that and not Roswell 47 but 54 so there's a little uh, every year they have like a little uh, UFO Bigfoot thing out there so I'll probably hit that this year if I have off and then I got another edition, which I have several, of Pennsylvania hiking trails. And of course, because of, I have an old map from Pennsylvania a long time ago. This is a very PA-centric review, re review right now. But uh, I had a, a, a state, state map of a long time ago, and there's just camping areas all through it. It's from like the late 70s and stuff. And if you look at a map now, those camping areas, most of those camping areas hiking, they're not there. Because people have been selling land off to private people and all this stuff. And people from out, out of the state. And it's just a sad thing. I don't like that. So, it is nice to know where the trails are. Uh, Going to do a couple of them this year, hopefully. Uh, so, camp out. Things like that. Do more of that this year, too. So, I need to get out in the woods. And not just work, 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 work all the time. So, hopefully this is the year for that. The year of the woods. So, anyway, let's get into this. It's got time to breathe a little bit. Settle down. Nice tangerine hue to this one. Very orange in, in uh, aspect. A little pinky white head now. Aroma. Mm. Hints of a little bit of grapefruit tangerine tones. There is a little bit of a, 
a soft earthy floral tone in the background mixing with a little bit of a kind of an overripe pineapple. A little dried apricot maybe a little bit in there, so cheers. That's drier than I thought. I thought this was going to be sweeter. Drying. This is exactly what I want a regular IPA to taste like. I've said that before with some of the new trail stuff. When they get these DIPAs are just a little bit drier. A little bit more just on that kind of like you can eat, drink a lot of them because the, the, the sweetness isn't there. I like those sweet, big, huge. I love it when they do those huge, big, tropical, you know, tangerine um, sweet IPAs, I re uh, double IPAs. I like when Neutral does this, but when they do stuff like this, you go, okay, now this is 8.8. .8, I forgot to tell you that. Uh, and this is from the Parks and Forest Foundation in, in collaboration with, of course, makes sense. Um... And they've done, I think they've done, the, they've done the World's End State Park too, but hopefully they can bring that back around because I don't know if it was in this collaboration when they did World's End State Park, if you know what I mean. So, oh, do Ohio Pile because my, my it's where my, my if, if New Show, New Show doesn't watch any of my stuff, but if you do, Ohio Pile State Park is where my, uh, my uh, great grandmothers and stuff like that, they came from and owned areas there, uh, Chalk Hill and whatnot, before they moved out before my family in you know in the 50s moved or 60s moved out here so that's a little PA PA Rooney's fact but anyway um, I really like these uh, more approachable drier double IPAs and honestly if I can get IPAs that just taste like this instead of that kind of muted hazy wet grain stuff that sometimes I just get with some hazy regular IPAs where like the flavors are muted and they probably would have been better if they were clear uh if you can get more like this uh, i'd be a happy camper i will tell you topping goliath and um topping goliath with their pseudo sue and stuff like that they just hazy and flavorful and nothing i mean they they should get more recognition for that that beer alone um in the world it's an old beer now but it was it didn't get enough i mean i got hype when it was out but i don't think it got enough hype because of how good it's and I'm standing the test of time so, let's get into back into this one. It's more tangerine piff zest, a little bit of grapefruit zest, more so than anything. There is an earthiness, a pepper, a peppery earthiness in the background. There is a little bit of a floral tone. I'm still getting something that reminds me of a faint hint of a dried apricot, but it's very subtle. Breadiness for sure. Like a torrified wheat or a crackery, a little bit of something going on in there. What if these Pilsner models in this or whatever? A little bit of minerality that I'm picking up, and I just don't know what it is, but there's a little, I mean, just the faintest touch of a hint of a saline, so the saline taste, very subtle though, but it's kind of like in there. I don't know if that's, uh, you know, uh, salts that they put in to bring the hops up or whatever, but there's something in there that I'm getting that's a little bit of that. Listen to some hot tea right now from Germany. Nordic Wolf, Chase the Moon Across the Sky, that whole thing. It's really easy, approachable. It's not too bombastic. I wish there was a little bit more bigger, robust, and rounded flavors kind of shooting out of here. Laser tag kind of style through the bog. Ooh, gotcha. Stuff like that. More brighter tangerine, more brighter that dried apricot that I was getting that would be great. Brighter tangerine, a little of this and this. Um, it's it's easy drinking. It's a little bit on the dull side. Uh, no canned on date, so I can't exactly tell you exactly when. But this is this had to have been because I just saw this on a lot of distributor stuff like two weeks ago, if that. 
so it's not that old. Uh, it's kind of nice you get it two weeks later, so you get the green off of it, if you know what I mean. But uh, anything else I can tell you. It would be nice. Now, this is a pretty... Look at all that shit on there. But it would be nice if there was just a little picture of the county. Just put the county in there where it comes from. Just a little somewhere in here. There's a little figure of the county. And just put, like, you know, Columbia County or this county or that county. Just to have an idea of, you know, where it is, too. The more PAS this goddamn can can get, the more happy I am, if you know what I mean. But very good stuff. Very good stuff. Um... IH Bev, New Trail Brewing Company, 240 Arch Street, Building 18, because you have to go like in this complex, and it's all the way around the complex, so you almost feel like you're not in the right spot, you know what I mean, if you're just driving around, like, what the hell, it's like an industrial complex, but you'll get there, you'll get there, the Green Run State Park, there you go, I'm sorry about the ring light, it's very helpful, and I really like it, but the, the, you got to you gotta work around the glare, if you know what I mean. So thank you, Justin. I just gotta work around the glare a little bit. Anyway, I like this. I do. I would say that it is solid. This is gonna be a rarity for me. It is easy drinking. It is solid. It's a touch better than solid. I would say that for sure. But there was there is a little bit more that I would hope from. This would be a fantastic IPA. A little little let down on the double IPA standards, if you know what I mean, like the flavor compounds. I really would like a kicked up sweetness. My man, if you could just push out IPAs that taste like this, that's a good time. But, because uh, I'm usually negative talk, I'm usually let down by Neutral's hazy IPAs. They're just not where they should be. Uh, brighter days, nice and clear, fantastic. Make more of that, please. Send me a case of it in, in right here. I'll give you the address, please, God. Now send me a keg of it, and I'll just tap it and just, you know what I mean, that kind of thing. But this is, I'm going to give this one an 8. 8 out of 10. It's a little bit above solid. My solid 7.5. I think everybody knows that. Watch the channel enough. 8 out of 10, de definitely good, uh, approachable. Um, you'll still like it. You'll still crush. And the thing is, it's crushable. So you'll crush the shit out of a four pack. 8.8, .8, crush a four pack, you're going to have yourself a good night. So, anyway, this has been Paul for Baby News. Cheers. Mm. Bye bye. Watch that finger. Here it comes. Bye bye.